What's going on everyone and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Today I will be going over all of the Drangir locations for you to find, which total in 6 so hopefully you can complete those mysteries or unlock some of the unique runes that are in the game. If you find this video helpful, leaving a like and subscribing would be very much appreciated. Now let's get started. Alright, so for those of you that are unaware, in AC Valhalla, the legendary Ragnar Lothbrok does not make an appearance as he died a couple of years ago. However, you can still fight six of the very same Vikings that were once a part of his very own crew. These six Vikings are called Drangir, which basically translate to badass warriors, so be prepared for some serious fights for some of them. Now, the Drangir are part of regional mysteries and show up on your screen as a silverish helmet with axes behind it. Killing a Drangir may reward certain mythical runes or unique weapons, so you definitely want to make sure that they are something that you try to do in the game eventually, or maybe you just want to venture off and complete some random mystery. I will list these Drangir in order from lowest power level to the highest, so you can incrementally make your way from easiest to hardest. I'll also note some abilities I would recommend for each Drangir, so if you don't have any of those abilities that I mentioned, go ahead and check out the description of this video for a link to another video that explains where you can get the best abilities early on. So first, let's start with Eric Loyal Skull, who can be found in Norway right here on the map. Now, technically Eric is the easiest Drangir to fight, but can still be a little difficult with a recommended power level of 100. When getting to the location we pointed out, head into the cave, and you'll find Eric who can be challenged and will drop Fenrir's Fang if defeated, which is a pretty decent spear weapon to have early on. Once done with Eric, you should head to East Anglia in England and then track down Thor the Fishmonger located right here on your map. Now, the recommended power level for Thor is power level 100, but he's honestly not too hard to defeat. Just be aware of his rune ability that lets him jump in the air and land with two spears, and this does a ton of damage, so you definitely want to make sure that you evade this or try to parry. I would recommend using a shield since some of his moves can be rather quick, and just take your time with the fight. You will receive the Galoglatch rune and the Curative Joint rune once you've beaten Thor. Next, go to north of Jorvik to fight Nakfila Shine Eye, as shown right here on the map. Now, Nakfilia is power level 280 and can be found on the wall that stretches throughout the frozen wasteland. Nakfilia can be pretty difficult to defeat, so I would recommend using the Kick of Tear ability if you have it as he rarely flinches to any other hits, whether they're light hits or heavy hits, so you definitely need something that's either going to knock him down or stagger him. Now, combining the Kick of Tear with the Stomp skill made this fight pretty easy and straightforward for me, so I definitely recommend that you make sure that you also have the Stomp skill unlocked, which is pretty early on in your skill tree. If you can, I would recommend using a dual dagger build and parrying to constantly build adrenaline so that way you can constantly use kick of tear and then follow up with stomp repeat that process and it should be done in no time once completed you will then be able to get the brigandine rune following this we can find godafrid Ferobus, or however you pronounce his last name i apologize but he will be in the same region as shown right here on the map now godafrid is power level 310 and this is where the fights start to get very very challenging for a lot of the drain gear Godofred will use various weapons throughout the fight and will use quite a few ranged weapons which will require you to evade quite a bit or use the missile reversal skill from your skill tree as shown right here. The fight is pretty straightforward as long as you take your time to learn his different weapons and abilities but be aware of his two shields or hammer and shield combination where he rapidly attacks and doesn't stop. Parrying is going to be your best chance here and using the skill Brush of Death from your skill tree to slow him down when doing so. Once completed and you've beaten Godofred, you will then be able to obtain the Finisher Perfection Rune. Now moving on to Skegjold Frenzy Seeker, which is a recommended power level of 310 located right here on your map. Now in order to fight here, you must first drink from the big pot that's actually right next to her at the campfire, and then the fight will start, so be ready. This drink will make your adrenaline meter continually fill, which is great for doing abilities, but be aware that Skegjold's health will constantly regenerate, so if you decide to take a break or try to catch your stamina back up, she will constantly heal and it makes the fight quite annoying. 
also uses daggers so her movements will be very fast and if you don't manage your stamina she will heal any chance that she gets i would definitely recommend using more of a poison build or a fire build if you're having trouble so that way you can incrementally just chip away at her health but i do have another video on a poison build in the playlist if you're looking for something that will be very effective also using a shield will help with blocking all of her dagger strikes so you can definitely go that route if you choose to once finished you will then receive the stalwart fury and critical spark runes all right so last but not least we need to kill Orwig Neverdeath, which has a power level of 370, making him one of the toughest enemies in the game. Orwig can be found right here on the map in Norway. Now, thankfully, there is an easy way to cheese this fight, which involves basically just using Kick of Tear to kick Orwig off the cliff, which will kill him instantly if he lands a certain distance. So definitely make sure that you have this ability available, or at least you have the Rush and Bash ability as well, because this will basically do the same thing at the end. Simply try to position him to where his back is to the cliff and then use the kick of tear or Russian bash to knock him off the cliff and then if he lands a certain distance again he'll go ahead and die right away. So even though he's one of the more powerful enemies and definitely the hardest of all of the drain gear there's actually an easy way to beat him. Orwig will drop a fire execution rune when defeated so if you're looking for a rune that adds fire damage to your weapon there you go right there all right everyone so those are all six dranger locations in ac valhalla if you found this video helpful drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more gameplay and guides coming very soon we have more ac valhalla coming very soon as well as cyberpunk 2077 content in the next couple of weeks of course very excited for that game to come out but we will do a bunch of guides gameplay walkthroughs etc on this very channel so definitely make sure that you subscribe thanks everyone for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace